I am quite fortunate. I've got both of the uh, Dellingfroll brothers here today. No, we're right said Fred. Yeah, we are. You're Richard. Yeah. And I'm the other one. Yeah, the other one. Fred. I don't know. I see a little bit of hair poking out from under that cap. Not under no, here. We, 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 we wear wigs to, to fool that. Which is sexy for us. Otherwise, we get bothered by, you know, people wanting to get our autographs and shit, so we, we can't. You've got your clothes on and everything. Yeah, I know. Well, it's... it's, it's I mean, yeah. okay, look, I will I will put down the titles Right Said Fred if you take your tops off. No, it's a deal breaker. <laughs> no, yeah, you, don't, no. you don't want to see that, no, really. You don't want to see that. I got very badly bitten by mosquitoes last weekend in Milan, and I'm, I'm, I look like I've got monkeypox, and it's just simply not true. I, I don't have monkeypox, honest. Uh, and I, I wasn't a bum test. <laughs> you you didn't really get a bum test. <laughs> you missed, you, you missed, missed the show, you so missed you won't show. know what we're alluding to. It was very naughty and probably not suitable for your... your yeah, it was team. good. It was good. What we said was um, that coming to the, the Freedom Festival, you were... It was like being a closet gay and going to Bumfest 2000 for and so, for the first time and, and being free to be yourself. And in the same way, we've come to, come to sort of Tinfoil Fest and it's mm. been bloody marvellous because yeah, you know... It, it is genuine freedom because you, we both... We're, we're, we've got, we love our wives dearly, but they don't, they're not fully on board with what we believe in. I think that's the politest way I can put it. So we've kind of been given the weekend off. We've got free reign to, to talk our conspiracy nonsense all weekend with people who know that it's all true. Yeah. Uh, Get it out of our system. <laughs> and then we can go back and be good boys again yeah. for another few months. But we absolutely love this festival. This is, this is the festival for us, it really is. And it's a good cause as well, because I like... <laughs> homeschooling. The homeschooling thing is a lovely angle to it as well. <laughs> what, what do you think the potential is of this being sort of the anti-McDonald's, franchising around the country yeah. and people setting up more and more hopes? So homeschooling hubs where people can take control of their own kids' education. The, the hub thing is the way a lot of things are working right now. I, I set up this group called Third Wednesday, and it's the third Wednesday of the month where um, libertarians and like-minded souls meet in a particular pub. There's 40 different venues across the country, but it's a hub thing. And within those hubs, there's health hubs setting up, people setting up their own health organizations, it's reinventing what the NHS is failing to do. Uh, there's law hubs practicing common law. So the education hub is just a natural progression of that. You know, having something that clearly works, you roll out that model across the country. So it can only, it can only thrive. Yeah, I think what, what's good about um, events like this, about, about hope, is that, I mean, you know, on my podcast, I spend all the time talking about all the crazy shit that's going down and, and, and speculating on who might be responsible and stuff. But it's, it's not often that one talks about how to make the world a better place, how to, how to fight back, how, how to, how to how respond. How to make sure the next generation aren't completely screwed up. Yeah. How to, how to, become, how to make the world gen, <laughs> genuinely free. And this is, this is a way forward, definitely, definitely. The kids are not brainwashed. Parallel society, you might say. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely it. We, we're not going to change the government. We, we've just got to start working uh, around them and let them do their stuff because we, you know, they're pretty much unstoppable. They are going to do what they do. But the, the, the more of us who ignore them and do our own thing, the, the more I hope there is. I, I, I don't see how revolution, you know, sort of violent revolution, would solve anything because what happens is that gives they've got a monopoly of, of force and when you've got government's monopoly of force you're always gonna gonna lose in the end and that's what they want they want to be able to crush us but but if we just say we're not playing by your game your rules we're, we're, we're not part of the system anymore just just leave us alone that's the way do you think there are lessons to be learned from groups that stick together and have a strong community, like the Amish in the United States who don't pay income tax. We were tax. talking about the Amish yeah. last night. Or you've got, um, you know, the Free State Project being set up in New Hampshire in the United States, where you've got liberals, libertarians, all moving to the same place, congregating, building a community. Well, we've been talking about Libertarian Island for a while, haven't we? We have. Get, a, get an island and all go and live with right-minded people there. And you know what? There wouldn't be a shirker among them. Everyone would pull their weight. Everyone would be wanting to, to bring what they could to the table. And uh, sharing and learning new skills. It, 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 the Amish have had, they've been showing us the way for years, you know. 
know, they're deeply religious, they've got that as their, their moral compass, and around that they've got the, the, the skills that we're all lacking, as in house building and farming and uh, all that other stuff, even but turning a little profit on their woodworking. In this new world, something we don't get any cool stuff anymore. Yeah, I mean, like jet skis. Do we still get jet skis? Would Do we get motorbikes? Would like with jet skis? Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's an element we it's haven't thought through. I, I, I mean, the, the only element I'm, I'm not sure about is um, agricultural toil. You know, I mean, I find gardening quite You could run the jet boring. ski higher place and leave yeah. the toil. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah it's a yeah. Yeah. division of labour, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, okay. You I'll run the, jet ski. you run the jet skis, I'll pull a plow. Well, I'm not sure, but I, the higher thing sounds a bit kind of boring. Can I just be the jet ski test tester? Uh, <laughs> You're talking I, fine detail. I could, I could just deal with all the cool, you know, we, we've got this Ferrari, James. What do, what do we do with it? It's okay. I've got this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're, 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 we sorted it. We sorted your 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 new world order. And and do you think it also sort of applies? You look at the Jewish community as well. They all prefer each other's business. They have massive in group preference. Do you think that helps? Like having that community and buying from each other, supporting each other's businesses. And... Well, it, it, I think it's what we're designed to do, isn't it? We sort of favour you know people people with stuff we've got in common. I mean, that's what you do. That's how you form friendships, isn't it? And if you've got shared values, I think it's got to be the way forward. I mean, if you know the local farmer, you're going to be wanting to buy his produce, especially if you know and trust that he happens to have the best herd of Hereford bulls around and, uh, you know, that his tomatoes are second to none, that sort of thing. It, it's, uh, it, it's a no-brainer. And do you think sort of having uh, uh, tech like Odyssey, I know you're quite big on Odyssey and uh, our, our channel is still bigger than yours, I think, at the moment, but you are, you are racing up. Oh, good. I, 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 I listen to you on Odyssey. Do you? Yeah. Do you um, think having that sort of tech is also another stage to this parallel society? Well, I don't know enough about... I, I try not to think about tech, because I think tech is mostly the, the problem. But, uh, but uh, look, I'm old enough to remember where the internet was sold as our liberator, and, and the, there was all this disintermediation was going to take place, and, and no longer with the traditional... Um, barriers to entry exist, you know, anyone could become a journalist, anyone could do this, anyone could do, could do that. But it hasn't quite worked out that way, has it? They, they, they've enslaved us with the, the freedom tool. Maybe that was always the plan. Do you want to plug your meetings again and do you want to talk about your uh, podcast uh, uh, the, the, bit? Consider the plug has been made. My, my, the, you can find it online, thirdwednesday.com. No, it's libertariandrinks.com. Yeah. I'm getting my, my website. Um, yeah, well, the Delling Pod is great, isn't it? I mean, I, I, I just, I'm, I'm not very good at... Uh, it's, uh, I'm good at putting out the product. I'm not good on the technology and I'm not good on the marketing or the monetizing, actually. But but have got t-shirts. Yeah. But I, I do do a bloody good podcast. Um, so if you haven't discovered it, you really should. I will buy merch. Resist t-shirt. Does it, does it show up on the camera? Uh, yes, it does. There we go. Available from me via Twitter. Yeah. <laughs>